Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. Ghosh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Ghosh. Ghosh, sir, to dakhay achcha na to. Hey to. Hey. Hey to. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. To. Ha. Kya hona chen? Hey to cholche. Good, good. Good afternoon, sir. अनेक ही पढ़े देख ची हाँ अपना क्यों ये तो माया माया चोले आज भी डेंटिस मारते ये बाबा जानी ना जावटा कीरो कम सही तो सही तो सर आई थिंक आई थिंक वे शुड वे शुड सर बालो अच्छा सर फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग अनेक दिन तो ये बोल चुका है आपना कौन था जो ये मतलब ये प्रोग्राम टाके आपने क्या आनाज जोन में बोल चला मॉनिक दिन तो रही हाँ जहाँ आर्टिबिटी बोल लो जो ना मैं बोल लाऊँ का सार बोले ची आमी ना की की होवे होवे ना की जेती होवे थैंक यू थैंक यू बोलो गुड तार शुरू कर दीन सर शाल बी स्टार्ट शाल बी स्टार्ट हाँ यस यस स्टार्ट all the participants and delegates who have come for this webinar program today. We bring to you a very, very special guest this afternoon, and he needs no introduction. He's the pride of Bengal, he's the pride of India, he's in fact the pride of the world. And without my revealing you uh, his identity, I would actually request another friend of ours, Dr. Shubhana Bose, another renowned Bengal-based entrepreneur, to kindly give a brief introduction about uh, Sri Chandra Shikhar Ghosh, who is the guest in chief today. But the, before everything, I would request our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, to kindly inaugurate this session because the whole idea of bringing entrepreneurs to this program is his. And it is based on this series of programs that we have brought uh, Mr. Chandra Shagar Kush to you today. Uh, sir, with these words, may I request you to kindly say a few words? Should I say, sir, before uh, Mr. Bose, Dr. Bose? Yes, Should I sir. Say first? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Professor Mukherjee. So it's a great occasion. That uh, Chandra, Mr. Chandrasekhar goes uh, is amongst us. Actually, I, I was just saying to him that uh, for uh, after we started these uh, programs on entrepreneurship, I was uh, looking forward to uh, have an occasion where Mr. Ghosh will be with us for inspiring our students. Uh, I would like to share that uh, uh, personally, uh, I am well connected with uh, Mr. Ghosh. I know all these uh, Bandhan banks, uh, these activities, and all these things and. We are happy that some parts of academic activity pertaining to Bandhan Bank uh, we are managing. We are we are uh, uh, you know this running at from our university, and uh, I have read many things. Bandhan Bank is uh, basically a revolution in the banking system uh, as far as this uh, uh, this microcredit and all these uh, things are concerned. So uh, this uh, year uh, he has created history, and uh, he has. Uh, uh, Produced jobs for many people. That was a great, uh, you know, this great, you know, the uh, this uh, sign of entrepreneurship, a great milestone of entrepreneurship, and uh, we believe that uh, following his footsteps, many of these uh, budding entrepreneurs they will emerge for transforming the economy of this country. And today, Mr. Ghosh will share all his stories, all his, you know, these ideas, opinions of this future. And uh, it will be a great lesson for all of us who are present over here, including the student community, the most important, uh, you know, the stakeholders of our system. And uh, if uh, out of this activity, some of the students get the right sort of inspiration and motivation to follow the footsteps of Mr. Ghosh and to do and, and they do something for the betterment of the country community and of course for them also, then we will consider that our this end, uh, these endeavors uh, taken by us is uh, successful. So with this, I'd like to conclude. Professor Sujit Mukherjee, kindly uh, take this program ahead and invite our guests and other persons to share their opinions. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, may I now request Dr. Shubhano Bose, founder of IIHM and in this small group of properties to kindly give an introduction of Mr. Chandra Shekhar Ghosh, the guest in chief. Well, um, uh, I think I think he's one person who don't need any introduction in uh, India and, of course, in Bengal. 
but it's such a great opportunity for all of us uh, on behalf of the university, Macau, and on my personal uh, uh, relation with him goes for many, many years when Bandhan Bank was opening in this part of the uh, city. So uh, I'll just do a very brief one because we'll keep more time for Mr. Ghosh to speak and to enthuse and uh, encourage the student. So Mr. Ghosh started uh, uh, his uh, early uh, education uh, in uh, uh, he, his father. I'm just 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 reading from one of those things which I've got with me. His father owned a sweet shop in Tripura and where Mr. Ghosh used to support his father at the shop along with his studies. He completed his master's in statistics uh, from Dhaka University. And after completing education, he joined BRAC and NGO uh, in Bangladesh. After returning to India, Mr. Ghosh worked with several NGOs. He quit his last job at Village Welfare Society and established Bandhan Konnagar, an NGO in West Bengal, which aimed to provide microfinance service to the marginalized and drive financial inclusion. Mr. Ghosh started Bandhan Konnagar in 2001 with a capital of uh, only uh, uh, 2 lakh rupees and three employees in Kolkata and to provide microfinance services to small and uh, marginalized women entrepreneurs in areas not assisted by formal banking services. In 2009, he transferred the microfinance portfolio of the NGO to the NBFC that is not banking financial corporation and uh, financial companies and he has acquired in uh, which he has acquired in, in 2010 bandhan was recognized as a largest microfinance entity in india in 2014 the rbi the reserve bank of india granted an approval for banking license to bandhan and bandhan bank was formed he started operation in august 23 2015 which is a red letter day for all of us as uh, Mr. Ghosh, as the managing director and CEO. This is the first instance of a microfinance enterprise getting the banking license in the India, and also the first instance of a universal bank being set up in Eastern India since independence. So, so and of course, uh, I can go for hours, but I think uh, it's up to Mr. Ghosh. You are really, as Mr. Uh, as Vice Chancellor said, that it's our great opportunity and great a fortune to have someone like Mr. Ghosh to speak to the students so that in Bengal, we have seen that uh, entrepreneurships are uh, not very uh, pushed by the parents or by the society. But here we have a person, an icon, a legend who has proved everyone wrong. He left a job, uh, which was a well-paid job to start something which he believed he will succeed. And in spite of all the challenges, all the odds that came in between, he succeeded to form Bandhan Bank, which right now uh, has a, a cell turnover of 1,25,000 crores. Uh, sir, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm okay. And which is, which is 75 billion US dollar, which makes us so proud as a person who are from Bengal. So uh, it's a great fortune once again. Thank you so much, Mr. Ghosh, for being with us. And thank you, Vice Chancellor, Professor Shoikot Maitro, for giving me this opportunity also to uh, go and talk and to Mr. Ghosh and bring him here. Thanks everybody in the panel, Mr. Mukhopadha, Mr. Mukherjee, and Mr. J.P. Shaw. So over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, the uh, respected uh, by Chancellor of Macau, Professor Shoikot uh, Maitro, and the Vice Chancellor, uh, another Vice Chancellor, Dr. Shubhano Bosch, and uh, Mr. Pradeep Mukherjee, and uh, Professor Sujit Mukherjee, uh, and all the, the students, and uh, some of the faculty members who are attending this the program have been given my uh, uh, heartiest the, uh, the welcome to all of you on that to listen me. This is a very bad time for all of us on that as a, as a corona pandemic situation on that. But it is an another, another opportunity 
from office or from house, we can be like to talk with the large number of audience. That is the opportunities as given to me. I, I like to one, one question before starting on that. What is the time uh, it will be allocated? And, uh, and uh, is it any option for question answer? Or so that yeah, I can be start in that way. Professor Mukherjee, Professor Mukherjee. So you can speak for uh, at length if you choose, you can speak for at least one hour and we will follow it up with a question on the session. Okay. So thank you. And in front of uh, two vice chancellors, very renowned personality in our state and country and uh, all the students and I'm not a teacher. And I am only, sir, I have been worked with the people, which people are not in a way people are counted as a, as a, as a, as a uh, side that the good entrepreneur of that. Gosha, I voice started low, I guess, to microphone to the barn, okay, I have been trying. Is it okay now? Is it? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so uh, thank you again uh, the these opportunities. The subject is very much uh, very, very much the complex in that sense. I, I'm talking in my way, uh, not as a professor in the in the classroom. Why entrepreneurs? There is a two part. Entrepreneurs that means. Would I think about it to make a job for myself and the people? Other side, the entrepreneurs, can I focusing on that the large number of people's demand fulfill? My, my point on that, which my learning, the both together on that. But entrepreneurs, who is like to say that entrepreneurs, he must be a successful to run a build up and run a best enterprise. How it can be like to say that enterprise? One enterprise, which I feel that there is in some few character, enterprises should be a fulfill the demand of the people and large number of people. And second is then it is in financial viable model and it can be scalable. If not in three, three, so it will be not sustainable. And then the both the side, it cannot be like to say as a enterprise. Why I have been talking on that? The entrepreneurs, the first we like to see that what is the people's need and where I can be give the service to them. If I come to this abundant part and when I went to this, the daily market, I saw someone has come from the outside with a motorbike very early in the morning, given the 500 rupees to the vegetable sailors and fish sailors and collected five rupees. And again, evening coming that person and collect the 500 rupees. When I ask them why you are paying the one person half a day, 700 person interested to this paper. And those are selling the vegetable and fish and they are purchased from the wholesale market and selling in this local market. They are also enter entrepreneur. They also have the enterprise. The point is there, the no of the banking industry or financial institution, they are not attract of this, the people who are the very good enterprise and they are paying 700 interest to the some person 
and after that also they are doing their profit and they are going to return back to their home when you ask them why you are paying the 700 they say that the surprised so no i'm giving the 5 rupees why you calculate the 700 and this person is coming to my business place and given this the 500 rupees with their cost it is not my travel cost my paper cost my signature my guarantor no things is needed on that then my idea has come if i start the enterprise which can be meet up the need of this level of the peoples those have need the money i take the money from the bank and given to them even 30% interest or 2% per month interest then also these people can be earned and uh, they can be earned then more than 600% interest saved without increasing their business so my point on that and then i have been started this uh, bandhan and to give the money to these people and return back to the bank and within these two we are also in a profit so my point on that the entrepreneurs should identify the demand of the people which are not meeting up by the our country system process formal system process i have been taken that opportunities and started it on that and then it has come now as a bank so this is my point on that for example of how it can be like to possible to make as a entrepreneur so enterprise development and build up and it is not very easy it's a lots of challenge from the beginning and the professor bosch already mentioned about it on that 2 lakh rupees my capital out of this 2 lakhs rupees it is an 50000 i taken from my sister 65000 has given my brother in law so that is in called in that the 1 lakh 15000 and 85000 out of that in that 75000 i have been taken from money lenders to pay the interest 7.5% per month and the real capital from my side is 10000 rupees so this is the biggest challenge for any entrepreneur to start any enterprise funding is not available but if he has the confidence on this model that this is a enterprise financial model is viable and it scalable and sustainable then he can be uh, take some money from the friends relatives and others can be start on that and gradually when this model is accepted by the lenders then automatically fund will come on that which i have been seen on that so yeah, of course it is in uh, it is as a challenge i have been again say that this uh, funding is a one side channel challenge second first challenge has come from family family when they any person are completed the masters or mba they expected they will get a job and a good salary they will start a one enterprise which is not sure it will be success or not and that is the big challenge has come from the family friends and relatives i also faced on that and everyone against on that so it should be like to overcome by the confidence of self yes i like to prove it whatever i have been started i like to do such a way which is sustainable and give the happiness to all of you 
and the second problem will come on that other than funding uh, i say that the problem or challenge or i can say that better way is a challenge to build up the team because when is a new enterprise and no people is like to interested to come to join to work very few people you can find out on that who can be like to come to join hands to make this as a success on that and even relatives also not friends also not colleague from the, the uh, classmate also not interested to come with the new entrepreneurs to start any enterprise on that very few and so that it is a need on that to build up a team because if the team is not best so any any of these the enterprise cannot be success so then i have been started to search the people where i can go, get the paper i have been given the interview in the, in the newspaper i got some of couple of uh, uh, cv i given the one example on that the first time when i given on that 11 cv has come myself my wife and my one colleague in that time together sitting and to see that what types of you no know, application has come on that and we find out on that six applications out of 11 are postcard senior citizen they are not coming to these young boys and girls though our country is and many of the people are youth many of the youth are unemployed and underemployed but application has not come whatever has come the 11 six are not eligible five i have been called to talk to join after listen about it this is a job for field not the office and all have been left so there is a big challenge i faced on that to build up the team then i decide on that why people are not coming why they are uh, unemployed but not coming and then i find out on that that there is a selection criteria of the people should be like to revise the first criteria i revised i'll take the people from the rural not from urban urban people is more visionary not hard worker and rural people they are more hard work they can give on that second is there the higher secondary minimum but no first class if anyone is a first class is a disqualified because first class people always very ambitious and they will not come to any of this type of hard job and new enterprise job and i have been taken on that pass or third division maximum if i get some of the people second um, second division but not first division and of course all the people will be like to unmarried because they are if they have not any job why they have been go to the marriage they will be first to see that the job establish the life with the income and then go to this man fourth criteria on that the because of higher secondary and graduation is maximum graduation completed 21 years i have given the 23 years minimum age so minimum two years they try to get the job if they fail then we'll be like to recruit them i feel proud these all people now i have been got them and they came to this organization and built up this institution from ngo to nbfc mbfc to bank and all of the senior people they have not any first class so this is a build up the team is a big challenge attract the people is a challenge 
And if we not properly identify the criteria of what types of people I will like to attract and they will be like to come. And if you see that they have come and I given the training to them to, to know how they can be work. And Saturday, Sunday, the two days have been the full training, even the whole night. And Monday, again, they have been going to work. And they have also given the more time to us. Now these people has come to different, you know that. So other time, after the office, I have been also met my senior team informally, very informally, gossiping and listen from their problem, their family problem, their official problem, and try to find out on that. And sometimes there, uh, some of the people have the very good joke, very good singing. And after the office time, I have been done it. It has been helped me to make a family and bonding each other. And it has been also going to this, the ground level to build up the people in the front line. And it has been helped on that a very good team build up, not only head office level and connected with the head office and field level, which helped us to build up on this institution. So team also is a very important on that. And this is the challenge is a before the enterprise start or enterprise running on that. The next my point on that any enterprise is a long run sustainable is a two factors which I learned. One factors, it will be scalable. If it is not at a scale, it's not in the long run in the system. Second point, it will be innovative. According to the change of the demand of people, that organization or enterprises should be like to change of their product and services. Otherwise, it's a very big challenge to survive on that. So after the the when it is coming is a big, and I, I mentioned about it on that, the scale. If I, if I mentioned in our organization, I started 2001 and 2004, up to I am in Bengal. 2005, six, we entered to the Northeast. And 2007, eight, we started in, Bihar. In 2010, we decided until we are not going to the Delhi and Mumbai, will we not make as a national organization? And then we have been built up on that. And accordingly, we are make a very uh, the, the plan how we can be scale up of this the business and services to the across the country on that. When I decided on that, these things and understand about it, it is not possible under the NGO. Then I shipped it to the NBFC and NGO is running for development activities. It is also bigger on that. And this way we have been journey on that. So this is also is a very good learning for me when I diversified the geographical location, which is not concentrated only the one state or two states, which is not, uh, which is not liked by the people on that. And actually it is not as a sustainable. This is a lot of challenge will come to uh, manage of this the scale or manage of this institution and the services. Next, my one point after the Enterprise is model setup, team setup, and it is running, and scale is needed. And when we are decide to scale, then is a couple of things we will be like to feel that challenge will come. If we like to make it scale, 
we have a need on that to do good operational module operational module sometimes we talk about it sop standard operating procedure so it will be the good uh, manual which every people should know that how the operation is running and every component of the operation will be like to simplify and very standardized i give in the one example i have been standardized my office one office you no know, eight staffs one branch manager and seven credit officer i am saying that at that time so they have the one plastic chair with arm for branch manager and eight chairs for the staff of the credit officer one table 10 plastic tools for the customers one tube light one fan one wooden rack this is in standard any branch any where you enter you can see that same measured same number same quality same color and everything is the same and this is called uh, i called it as a standardized is my branch office staff standardized on that one office cannot be like to uh, manage more than 3000 customer if it is an eligible for more than 3000 customer i can open the another branch but not these branches this is also very standardized product is very standard the one simple product only for the uh, business flow not any other things on that and this we we are standardize the total business model and it has been helped on that it has been very clearly written to this my manual so that easily one uh, week in the training to the staff and given to the posting to the one branch easily they can be run on that and this manual they will be treated as a dictionary of the uh, organization so that have been helped on that uh, to do it i am given the another example on that how uh, uh, i have been given the one of the standardized operational system process if you see the manual the first two pages all the benefit of the stuffs which they will get it next the two pages as per my knowledge 64 number punishment if you do this you will punished in this much many many of the things they are doing on that which is known or unknown it is very clear on that if you do this you will punished in this way. but also it is clear you will get that the that that day of the your salary your increment your uh, bonus your uh, leave everything clearly written on that so transparency of this way have been helped us on that to grow this the organization so that the staff has not need to much more time on that matter so this is one point if we like to scale if we like to sustain is a big way we have a need in a very standardized operating procedure which every level of the staff can be easily understand and my this is the book till now in the bank and it is in it is in five different languages that is in uh, bengali ahomia and uh, tamil so we are making on that way so this is the one point second point in that when we become a big we have been like to face a competition on that when is a small there is a no competition when any model any of the enterprise has a success in the country almost immediately you can find out on that many of the people will be come to cut paste and start it to the same model to work on that if i say that the bandhan if you go to the any where bandhan uh, bandhan means in that small ticket size of the loan that is called the micro credit loan if other people also given the, that loan other organization also given that loan and public saying that it is an bandhan loan 
Sometimes they are mentioned about it. I visited the field. I asked to some of the person which is the shopkeepers, have you taken the loan? So, yes, I taken from Bandar. Are you taken from Bandar? Yes. Can you show your first book? And she showed me the first book. I saw that the first book is another organization. So this is a creative brand, which is every people feel that, that it is a bundle. Small ticket size loan across the country, there are people say that it is a bundle. And it is an advantage for us as a good, but also bad. Because if someone has been uh, uh, wrongly treated on that, if service on that, this is people cannot differentiate that organization in Bandhan organization, they are given the blame to Bandhan. I take in the Bandhan. And lots of cases we find out on that way. So this is the another challenge will be entrepreneur will be prepared their mind on that. So when they will be scale, they have a like to face the competitors and it will be the good way and also in the bad way. How they will analyze continuously on monthly or quarterly basis who are entered this market as a competitor? What are the product service they are different from us? And how we can be redesign our product and services for the customer so that I, we are not facing any trouble on that. So this is a second, my uh, point on that after the success of this. And third point on that, when the, any organization is coming as a big, so lots of legal and compliance matter will come about. So when it is a small, not, not that much many of this, the uh, regulation uh, will come on that. But when you come as a big and a scale, so then it's needed on that, it can be like to come as a, as a, as a big organization and good organization. So you will keep in mind on that, how compliance will be like to fulfill every point on that so that region that you have need to set up a that compliance department who can be like to every time they will be like to look it and accordingly guide to the organization to run on that so these are the these are a couple of points i have been mentioned on that. coming to this the point on that what is the benefit for entrepreneurs is it that the entrepreneurs looking this this the enterprise for his own development or the customer development. If some entrepreneur are thinking for his own development, I hope that he cannot be like to sustain in the long run. If entrepreneur is look for the customer point of view, large number of people's benefit, automatically he will get the benefit on that. So focus on that, how the customer satisfied how the people's need fulfilled by, by entrepreneurs. If it isn't fulfilled by the, the, uh, uh, by the entrepreneur to, to customers benefit more, automatically it has come to benefit to us, which is my example, my experience. I see that there isn't two benefit I have given on that. If I say that the, as a bank or as an NBFC, or I'm always the like to focus on that, the my customer. My customer, I started on that, the, if, I, if I give the very latest example on that, we are the lowest interest charge to the customer. Even as an NBFC, even as a bank. I given the bank per se on that. NBFC time, my interest charge was in a 22.4%. And that time the industry is charging 26 to 30 percent. And if you see that the after the bank, I got the chance on that to collect the deposit from the people, my cost of fund has come down five percent, and I reduced the interest rate four and a half percent. My interest rate today is a less than 18 percent. So I have given this benefit to my customer and customer are getting the advantage, automatically competitors and every of these uh, automatically it will be like to save on that. And they are happy. And we are also scaling. So this is the one side will be like to take care of the customer point of view. 
if i coming to this another part that is a stop point of view we have given the stop also though i am a, i was in an ngo when i converted to the nbfc i given to this the 3000 stops that time uh, i have that a 3000 stop all stop i have been given the free the money for for the equity to the nbfc that is the share to the nbfc and they form a employee trust and they put it it on that but if you see that today they are 14% of the total uh, 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 what i say that the holding company they are the hold the share of that 3000 stuff that time is a very simple i have been characterized to their uh, family they are poor family rural and not that much high but they are now getting this uh, the benefit is in is in is in dividend and many of the things we are feel proud about it so that the my attrition rate to the organization is the lowest in the country lowest in the country even not comparable to the any organization in our country so that automatically i feel proud on that how much money is need for me that is not the matter for me my matter for me on that we are now 50000 people are employed in it so i got this opportunities on that 50000 people are working in here that means the 50000 family are happy on that and other than this that there is a bank now two uh, uh, two crores 40 lakhs the customer two crores 40 lakhs the customer if i say that the uh, there is a 1 crore 15 lakhs the borrower in micro credit level and if this the borrower are are developed their enterprise in such a way and everyone have as another enterprise and they are always suffer from their husband but now they are powerful with the money so that they are also they are also given the new employment to others and if i say that the minimum one employment given by this lady that means the 1 crore 15 lakhs the people has got the job i given this example couple of days before on that the women has that the the husband have been lost to the leg and for accident and she took a uh, she took a money from us in the 9 years before only this amount is in 5000 or like in that and that purchase a one car with his money and now she has that after the 9 years she has the 32 cows and those cows the price is in 15 lakhs rupees and she also earn as a revenue to sell the milk 32 lakhs in a year and the seven people are working under herself to manage all the things and i am surprised to listen from her she said that the one of the person she paid 72000 rupees per month and she he was in he, he is an mba and working for marketing of the mill and manage the total dairy farm and other than this who are the the 15 people 14 people are working they are getting this the salary the 12000 to 15000 rupees is it the change has come to the people's life that is the success of the entrepreneur that is the happiness of the entrepreneur and that entrepreneur feel that yes i have been contributed on that so maybe many people cannot be recognized on that many people does not think about in that way. but when i i have been feel on that i feel proud on this so in that sense on that the when i meet these people they feel i am a god in front of them so that is the success point of that my point is there what is the success or what is the benefit of the entrepreneur the benefit is there the people's likes people honors people are benefited 
and people also make themselves like us. And that is the best way on that. But finally, I saw that the, what is my last learning? Many times I have been mentioned this point. I called it the PhD, which is maybe you mentioned about in the academical PhD. No, it is by uh, entrepreneurs as a need in a PhD. PhD means a P, passion. It must be a passion. Many challenge will come. So you will be like to be very passion, listen, face, and no problem will be unsolvable. But it's a time only matter. Second, my belief is their hard work. Entrepreneurs will be success depend on how much he can be like to give in the hard work on that. I give in my point on that. Day and night, I have been across the country to travel on that. Even after the head office, after 6 p.m., I went to the two branches, meet the staff of the branch, and talk with them and motivate them. But my family is not happy. I have been like to give in the happiness to this level of the people for the organization build up. But when I return back in the night in the 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., and my family is not happy on that. Yes, this is then one side on that hard work. And second point is that it must be dedication. If I like to commit it, I like to do it on that, I must succeed on that. It's a depend on my dedication, how much effort I have given, how much my team has been given drive, and they feel this ownership on that. So in that sense, I say that the passion, hard work, and dedication have been helped us to make a PhD to success in the life of entrepreneur. Thank you to all of you to listen to me. You have the, some question. I'm happy to share my experience on your question. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that uh, absolutely insightful journey that you've taken us through. Uh, and you have spoken it in a absolutely from your heart kind of a way. And uh, you've always been touching hearts all around. No exception this time also. Uh, may I request any of our panelists if they would like to put any question to Mr. Ghosh before we move to the attendees? Yeah. Uh, uh... Mr. Ghosh, I've been, I've been listening to you for the last so many years and been inspired uh, in many, many ways. So one of the other things we, we you always mentioned that being an entrepreneur, apart from the uh, passion, patience, and all the, the virtues which you mentioned, is also uh, you have to have a thick skin. I think you always mentioned that. Um. So I think I think for all the entrepreneurs, because a lot of people initially will tell everything is wrong, you are doing a wrong thing. Uh, they will always question your integrity, question your uh, attitude, question your purpose. So I think it's very important, I believe, uh, and this is something I learned from you only in one of the Bengal Chamber uh, webinar where you, me, and Anjanda was there, that you did mention that um, having a thick skin is also as important as anything else for a successful entrepreneur, especially in the present situation. Correct. So that was not a question, that was just a kind of a rejoinder. Over to you, sir, Professor Mukherjee. Yeah, I think Mr. Ghosh, would you like to uh, give a reply to uh, Dr. Bose about the thick skin thing? No, uh, uh, I have been missed on that. Uh, the, the, Mr. Bosch, can you repeat on that? Uh, I, maybe I have been feel that he is a comment on this. No, no, I, I, I said that you have mentioned in the past in, in the several webinar that an entrepreneur must have a thick skin. Important to have a very thick skin. Huh. Because a lot of people will tell a lot of things which you have to ignore. And you have to go towards your belief and commitment. Okay, okay. No, <laughs> fine on that. Um, this is a very good point you raised on that, which I understand from my learning on that. Uh, think in a simple way, not as a very complex way. 
then no success will come up. Second point on that, when you will be like to start or I am given that I cannot give the suggestion to you, I can give my example on that. Many people will come to you to give the suggestion. You'll take your decision. Listen to every people and you will decide on that which is fit for you, you can take or not take. If I give my example on that, whole day, many people I meet many times on that. My first balance sheet, I prepared in a, in a night in the bed. I thought about it whole day, how many people I met and what, how many staff I have been met, what they are suggest, what is my learning and which I have been like to deduct, discount on that and what I have been carry for future. That is the way have been helped me to learn every day. Learning is not a wrong. Learning is, is a needed on that. And it will be open to learn. Don't stop any person when he is given the advice. So listen to the advice. Take your every uh, some time in the night. Decide on that which you will take, which you will not like to take on. And, and again, I've been go to this, my first point. Don't create a complex in your thinking level. Your thinking level should be a very simple, very focused. If I my success point is this, I like to reach in there, not left and not right. Many things I cannot do. If I listen for all of these people in the time of my beginning, I cannot come to this position. I have only come to this position because I have the only one product, one service, not multiple things on that. And we have come in here and is my, my now opportunities is more. Now I have been like to uh, diversify on the different way. On that. So in that sense, you are correct. I, I mentioned on that, the, my, my experience point of view will be like to think in a simple way, listen every people, learn from them, but you will decide what you will like to do to reach your goal. Not every day you change your goal. You are because of you are the MBA student or uh, uh, you are studying on that. There is a two things in there. One is called the strategic plan. Another is a tactical plan. Strategic plan, we can be like to every three years to the change. It's a bigger change, which changes the impact to my customer level also. So that should be not every year, not that should be every month. And second is the tactical plan, I can be changed or revised in every year. And again, my point on that operational uh, uh, point I have been mentioned about it, the operational manual. I have been very restricted on that. The manual, whatever the decision taken in the monthly one time, in a first week, there is a meeting and all of the problem we will raise in there, decide the appropriate decision and given the circular to the ground level. Within this month, no change is possible. No one, even not myself. Even I have been visited in the field. I saw that as the sum of the problem in that field and I need to change that one. No, I have not the power. Power is a committee. I am chairing that power. But every time if you like to change, then it cannot be possible to run this organization as a smoothly on that. And many problem will be created by the decision on that. So that is also like to careful about it. Decision should be like to centralize in a small, the one day and circulate to all. Don't change every time of everything. Then success will not come.
thank you for asking this question though thank you thank very you, much sir. welcome sir thank you sir we will not take a question from one of the attendees onibroto dei is asking so if i want to start with my own money and i have the confidence to be accomplished so can i risk my own money entrepreneurs can take the risk taker if any of the person is not risk taker he will not make as entrepreneur because when i started my first ngo in bandhan that time i i have been left my job which is my ngo job and many people told me this is a very high risk you will not get the job again on that but i have taken the decision on on myself is a confidence on my model is a confidence i can fail i am not say that is the no yes i can fail but that not means i cannot take the risk so whatever the because if you know that the my 2 lakhs rupees how i classify no so if i loss so every of those people also i i lost so so for the first point on that i will be build up my confidence on myself first yes and my model will be prepare such a way where is no risk that is also it can be like to make a money and accordingly to drive i hope that that is not a big challenge thank you sir so we let's move on to the next question krishnendu kundu would like to thank you and then he say i i want to ask how i want to ask about how we can increase the scalability of an enterprise okay no i i mentioned about in that point scalable first step is there you will standardize to the your product service and operational manual and second point on that the you will prepare your team how the team member you are build up to scale on that not third point because of india we have the multiple language country so if we like to scale to the multiple states we have need to build up the skill of the staff in the multiple languages so these are three things we will be like to prepare ourselves and then drive the scale i think that's a very nice way of answering this question sir we are moving on to the next question uh this is from krishnendu kundu who has yet another question what are some factors that decide the correctness of vision that you are planning for your enterprise growth um uh it's in it's in whatever i learn i learn from the customer and uh, this is the segment where i have been lots of visit and very much uh the informally i have been seated to this the tea stall in the village and listen the people and what is the people need so that is the best way to learn and second point on that when you go to this scale or sometimes you like to go to the next stage i feel that we have a need and that the third some of the consultant organization they also can be helped to make the strategy and they also raise couple of uh, question uh, what is the challenge you will be face in future how you can overcome it to prepare a good plan and accordingly drive on that so consultant help will be like to make on that because i i i mean that the 2005 i i called a one outside consultant organization and my board people senior level people together we are 20 people uh, three days and nights we are stayed in a one training center outside of uh, calcutta city and total discuss according they are organized on that 
and every point raised on that. And accordingly, we prepared the plan for future. And that meeting, we first decided to set up a uh, values of the organization. And values is a backbone to, to, to success in a scale of the organization. And that is a five scale, uh, five the values, which is every of my staff know about it. And they know that if it is in fail, it will be very much bad for the organization and for himself or herself. And these values are followed from the top level, from my side to the front line on that. Until now, that values is and helped us to uh, uh, continue on that in the culture and values in a different from the any other organization. I hope that there is a two things. When you decide on that to scale, we have need in a one strategic plan prepared by the third party organization help and create a good uh, couple of number of uh, the values of the organization, which everyone would like to follow on that. And these two have been helped me to come to this position. Thank you, sir. But would you, uh, would you be kind enough to share these five values with the audience, sir? I'll send to you first point on that, the, the C. The total values five is called the create. The first one is a C, cost effective. Everyone you are about the cost effectiveness, how it can be managed the minimum cost and highest of the productivity. And if you see that the, our bank is the lowest cost to income ratio in the, in the, in the country. If you say that the, our cost to income ratio nearly 30, which is the, our Indian banking industry, 46 to 56, we are very low on that because every of the staff, they worry about it, how it can be doing on that. This is the benefit I got on that. So there is a five, this type of, uh, the, some, someone say that the uh, uh, exemplary creation, example created means, if new things I introduced, I as a as a MB first introduced in my behavioral side and my practice side, and then other will follow on that. So this type of five values I'll send to you, and you can also easily understand what is this. Right, sir. Thank you so much. So moving on to the next question, sir. This is from Polash Bhushan. He's asking, being a student, what are the things we need to maintain from now to become an entrepreneur? And according to you, what is the most important thing to consider to become an entrepreneur? This is the mindset. Uh, we are a study. First, our mindset is in job. First, we can be mindset of that. I'll be like to make an entrepreneur. Second steps, I feel that the India is a big country. Population, huge population in our country. Lots of new things is in like to develop a country. So need in the part of the time to go to this village because India population, 70% people living in rural. Till now, rural is in uh, backward. I say that they're not reach to that mark of the development. So if we go to this, the reach to them and can go to this, the uh, sometimes on the monthly in the two, three days to go only for work on this village and uh, talk with the people, immediately we can understand many of the things we have need to do and they have a demand. I give the another example on that. Some of the customers in the rural areas are feeling on that, the, what job they will do on that. And I have the, another one program called the TSP, the social program, poorest of the poor people, we are developing them as an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, first we find out on that, they are confidence lost. If it is an entrepreneur, they must build up the confidence on themselves. Yes, I also can be success. Then, then they can be drive on that. So we given that training to them is a confidential building. 
I given the another example. The art after that they are decide which enterprise they will be start. And then they are talking many of things. I suggested one thing on that. Can we make on that some one area, one of the entrepreneur, to sell the chappal in the village? Because if you see that 130 crores to the people, and use of chappal in the rural very few, and gradually their habit is coming to change the behavior to use the chappal. But they cannot be come to the city to buy a chappal. If they will get availability in the village, that chappal have been the demand. So I, after the two years, one and a half years, I went to see that village and that woman. Total room is in fully bought with the chappal, very small prices. Uh, belt, chapel, plastic, and people are coming to uh, uh, buy it on that. She's a good business developed on that village. This is in one side is a business. Other side is a social change. The people using the chapel has increased in that village is in higher than that compared to the other village. So it can be also the one business model. So I said that the if you go to the village, you can find out on that what types of business are available in there. And you can find out the innovative way on that to do it. Whatever already people are doing, I hope that that not maybe like to target on this. Thank you. Right, so we take another couple of questions from Karthik Mishra. He's saying, I'm a pass out student from Macau. Now I started a startup based on Kolkata, how can I get any help or assistance here? I want to scale up my e-learning startup. Whom will I approach for any help from Macau or from Mandhan Bank? Anytime, if you like to build up an enterprise, you first, uh, you can fix up on that who is your target. No, if your target is not available, then enterprise will be not success. If you feel that the target will be the friends, relatives, and the uh, uh, close uh, nearby of the house, then this enterprise will be not success. Enterprise will be success, but the demand will be like to look other than your relatives and friends. Then the real challenge you can be see that the how we can be meet up the need of the paper. So if you like to say that the learning, uh, you find out on that who is your product, uh, the before you prepare the product, who is your customer. And you decide that customer, these are the people, and these are the organization, you can move to go them and present them. And accordingly, you can be find out if they have a need. And when you present on that, they will be also give feedback to lots of. Then maybe not, you can be change your module on. That. Second point on that, if these the service are available more of this the provider, then also maybe this product will be not successful. So all of these things you can be like to consider, relook, and go to your customer segment and you can find out on that and they will be like to and you will be like to success and they will be also get benefit. So the next question is from Shodnodip Day and he is saying my question is what are the current threats to the banking industry? Current threats threats. You know that the 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 banking industry is a threat uh, that is a pandemic situation. No, and business sometimes is a threat, sometimes is opportunities. And this time also have the, some opportunities, some of the threats. If it is an environment is not good, 
if the people are not uh, getting the buyer i said that the if it is a manufacturer they are manufactured in a shadi and buyers is not coming from assam and bihar and jharkhand so they cannot sell it so it can be like to very big challenge for these people to survive on that and that a moment they are repayment also will be challenged for in that sense it will be take some time and it will be come to return back and that is the so these are the couple of small challenges now in this moment and other than things on that uh, there is a no uh, the big challenges and unexpected challenges in the banking industry right so the next question is from shivangshu raj and he is asking we only we know that only a few of the startups are able to be in the market in the long run so what differentiates it from the rest i hope that the we are like to give the name of the startup fine it is a good name but again i would like to uh, say that which is my success point when i started that time i was a starter but that time startup is not the word on that so we can be decide in our side the which is my market what is my product and how i can be design my product and services and customer need will be like to fulfill and that is i already discussed in a couple of times on that you can that, that can be help to you on that one interesting question here is uh, being asked by krishnendu kundu what to see in a person during choosing a co-founder and how to handle him in terms of profits so that no future riots occur no uh, uh, lots of example have in our country there's a good uh, co-founder like infosys you can see that but there is a big challenge also to manage so every of this is the situation there is a mind should be like to take both of them as a sacrificing mind if it is not sacrificing any one this the co-founder organization will be challenged to success in future prem are there any more questions or would anyone have raised hands prem kumar yes sir sir uh, abhi prata roy chaudhary sir has a question so you can let them in can... yes you, you can let them in if they want to ask a question abhi prata roy chaudhary please switch on your mic and uh, please ask your question i hope that the i can be uh, suggest the one point uh will be start in a proper way to run the or build up the enterprise challenge will come and time will be say that how challenge will be like to overcome and you have the good capacity every people have the capacity to solve it on that if you looked in that lots of challenges if you start it on that then you cannot start then uh, fear will be like to uh, uh, no pull you in the back side so that is not the good things start on that yes sir so we are at right chaudhary uh, good evening sir i am i am a student i am studying bba now my question is this uh, what are the qualities needed for becoming a successful entrepreneur and how can i prepare myself from now only uh there is a uh, very simple quality not a very high fi quality and uh, decide yourself 
make confidence on yourself you like to do some thing which is a new and you can be like to find out that what is the best for you that will be the best way the characterize yourself on that every of the people can become as entrepreneur if the women has come as a diary owner so i feel that the every of the student who are the study in here they are eligible to do it all. only look the market where you can be like to do it all. thank you sir thank you and don't think in the from beginning is a scale beginning is a small a small success scale is automatically can be like to do it all. okay mr bosch can we uh, close today mr just one, yes just one second sir i'll just find out if there any more question prem anybody would like to ask any more questions no check kartik mishra sir kartik no, mishra no i think we have taken we have taken questions yes. from kartik mishra okay sir. i think uh, i think uh, may i now call upon my colleague mr pradeep mukhopadhyay to kindly deliver a vote of thanks to the chandra shekhar and all the panelists mr mukhopadhyay please thank you professor sujit mukherjee uh, for nicely conducting the inter session uh, once again good afternoon uh, i express my sincere thanks to our honorable vice chancellor professor dr suikat moitro for his constant encouragement and his personal engagement to organize such events to inculcate entrepreneurship among the students faculties and research community of the university and affiliated colleges we are extremely grateful to our honorable guests sri chandrasekhar bose md and ceo of vandan bank for accepting our invitation in spite of his busy schedule to deliver his inspirational speech and sharing his experience we hope our university will continue to receive all kinds of support from him as well as from bandhan bank for various initiatives thank you dr subarna bose you have always been our support for various activities of the university and hope to receive the same in coming days also we are thankful to all the directors hod's faculties it administrators organizers students who have been present in today's webinar without whom the webinar would not have been successful once again thanking you all thanks for attending the same thank you thank you uh, mr mukherjee thank you dr bosch and thank you uh, professor mitro uh, to invite thank me thank you to all of the student i like to see that the, it will be success if couple of uh, the maximum of your uh, the attendee student will be start the enterprise yes i hope you will be success on your life thank you thank, thank you. you thank you thank you so thank you so much thank you thank so much you. for every, the time you did spend with us thank you all thank you everyone thank you all the panelists and with the with the uh, permission of honorable vice chancellor sir can we now close the webinar please Okay thank you all please stay safe